Hi everyone, it's the Gopher here. I'm back again to try and clear up a few questions with a very short video um, about how to get a server running on Minecraft. Now, I put out a video um, a short while ago about how to install the Mo Creatures, um, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures um, mod 3.6.0, and that was on. Um, single player and also on server on multiplayer and I had so many questions that I'm now going to give you a very quick um, rundown on how I get a server going okay there'll be a couple of pieces in there what where I've had questions and I'll specifically go to different things like how do I get the run bat file running if you make one um, how can I run the Minecraft server without having a bat file stuff like that okay so we'll go straight into it now the easy to do first is you'll go to uh, Minecraft net and on the front page here you'll see download just click on the download and at the bottom here you'll see Minecraft server jar get the jar file okay now I've already downloaded it so just click that and it will download now once you've downloaded it I'll make this really simple and put it straight in front of you on my desktop okay excuse my poor choice of um, desktop uh, picture there now just make yourself a folder just call it, let's call it server Okay. It doesn't matter where you put it because it runs it inside that folder. So we'll just make it straight on the, on the desktop and then it's easy to find. Okay. Now inside there you'll put your um, server jar that we just downloaded. And we'll also put in the run bat that's caused people so many problems. Now actually I won't put it in there. I will show you that one first. Okay. Now the, the, the Minecraft server jar you can actually right click open with and say Java and it will open it with the Java platform and run it for you okay now I don't run it that way because it puts a GUI up and I don't want a great big thing so I have a file called run bat now I showed this on that other video and everybody's saying how do I do it how do I make it what you need to do that helps to make it just nice and smooth it doesn't allocate too much in the way of, of um, RAM and I don't like the GUI as I said so it's that just makes it nice and smooth and it doesn't take up too much um, resources okay so I'll copy that but you'll need to type this into a file called run back which we will make right now okay really easy to do you just make yourself a brand new text file you can call it run dot text for now just so as it's easy to remember okay open it you'll type in this save it and then once you've saved it you can just do rename but if you click it twice that works call it run dot bat now because you're changing the extension or the the letters after the dot it says do you are you sure you want to do that say yes because what it's saying is you're taking me from being a text file into being a batch file are you sure you want to do that because the text file won't work properly anymore so just say yes and there it is and you'll see it'll get a different icon and that will be exactly what I just have here okay now when you run that it will run the server so you just double click it, I'll bring this over here, don't worry about the thing where it says oh my god I can't find this, I can't find that, and it's like oh no it's all failed, no it hasn't, what it means is this is the first time you've ever run the server so I can't find them so what I'll do is I'll make them and that's uh, the whitelist is, is if you want to have specific people um, on your server and then you can also do an ops which is um, I want these people to be like operators like you know officers and they can do specific things that the other people in my whitelist can't and of course you can ban people and ban IPs as well so that's it it's she's, she's now running so let's we'll stop that okay and that will save now if you want to put a, um, a mod into this now you'll need to open your, your server jar okay and drop everything in don't forget you don't delete meta in flight you're doing your single player because it needs that so if you get like my um, most creatures you can drop in um, the forge files into here and then you'll make yourself because you haven't got any mods or you haven't got um, forge or anything inside the server jar yet it doesn't know that you have any mods so it hasn't made the folder for you you can make that yourself now just call it mods so if you have mods um, that you want to put in you put your pieces in here that, that will run the mods so it might be a mod loader multiplayer or it might be um, forge etc and then you'll put your mods into here if it tells you to okay that really 
is everything that um, you need to know about here. And there's just one other thing that I have a question on, and that is how do I have like I can double click my Minecraft server jar and open it so as I can edit it. Some people can't do that. Now the, there can be a reason for that and one of them is if you go into here and say open with I've got WinRAR in here because that's one of my um, programs that I un open it with. So let's go and find out inside here you go into tools go into file types and you run yourself down until you get to your jar okay and you'll see that that is the program that's associated with a double click on Minecraft jar. If you don't have that, when you double click it, the, 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 your system will say, okay, somebody, the user has double clicked to dot jar, what am I going to use to open it with? And if you don't have that in there, it will use some, I mean, if it's got like, you know, earth and view, then it will use that to open it and it, will, it won't open it because it's the wrong type of program. So make sure that you have WinRAR or you know, WinZip or whatever you like. I mean, I prefer WinRAR myself, but nothing wrong with WinZip either. So, that's the other piece that some people get a problem with. Um, apart from that, anything that you you have questions with, don't forget I I do work. I have a I have a life outside of <laughs> YouTube. But if there is anything that I can help with, um, you know, question wise, just throw it at me. And um, I'm in New Zealand, so I may have a different time zone to you. So if I don't get back to you straight away, it's probably because I'm in the land of Nod, um, dreaming about hot chicks and no, well, you know. Um, so anyway. If you need any help, just post it up there and I'll get back to you when I can. You take it easy, okay? And it's the go for signing out. See you later.